What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World, and we're about to expose a guy that definitely bought an ebook. Now, if you guys play a lot of ranked games or you watch streams, um, you would know that several individuals have been running the, uh, the Jumbo Heavy. Um, out of nowhere, like a couple months ago, a lot of dudes started running it. I saw it, pro you know, at launch. It's oh, you know what's funny about Madden? A lot of people will come out and be running something early when the year starts, and then after patches it becomes a little bit more OP, so more people will start to run it. And pretty much with Jumbo Heavy, the whole idea is this, you have to make sure that the pressure gets there immediately because the way that everybody is so close, if you allow, oh, yo, yo, pick it up, run it for six, run it for six, run it for six, get in this bomb's mouth. All right, um, listen, um, so yeah, if you um allow somebody to sit in Jumbo Heavy and get time, they, they have a lot of different routes that get opened downfield and it's very, very hard to cover. So the objective is to send pressure but just know what they're trying to do, whether it's, you know, throw a quick to the flats, they're looking for a deep C route, deep post route. You gotta know what's going on. The thing about it is though, it's a you can pretty much stop jumbo heavy by just running goal line. But you gotta have skill to be able to know where the person will go if you know what I'm saying, if you don't have the time. Right there, we just had to pick them off right quick. I don't know what's been going on. I, whatever, bro. A lot of times now, after the patch, when you swat, you can pick the ball. I don't know if, you know what I'm saying, I don't know what's going on with that, but right here we gotta get a safety right quick because we're trash. But that's, either, that's neither here nor there. The bottom line is um, a lot of dudes are running around with ebooks with their pants down, bro. We got to do what's right. Um, talking, to, let, Let's get back to the Madden Bowl, though. Uh, yesterday, January 28, 2017, the Madden Bowl uh, quarterfinals were on and popping. And it was a lot of exciting football. I can't sit here and tell you um, that it wasn't exciting to watch. Yo, pick that! I can't tell you that it wasn't exciting to watch. I will tell you this, though. You know, young Kiv... The, yo, that that was a tough loss. Um, who played that? Was that True Boy and um, Dot Dubby? Was it True Boy and Dot Dubby? I don't know if that, that's what was going on, but oh no no, it was True Boy and uh, Serious Mo. So it was Dot Dubby and Hollywood. Okay, so Dot Dubby took care of Hollywood accordingly, and I don't understand what was going on in that game, but I could tell you this much: that whole tight formation and the way Dot Dubby was playing it was it was really really genius. Now, look, you got you got to put it like this: there's always routes in Madden that you have to use or cover yourself. And it just looked like Dot W knew exactly, you know what I'm saying? It was the out, it was it was a deep in, deep out route. That's oh, oh, it, listen, it always gets open. It doesn't matter what kind of zone you play, because the way that Madden is developed, sometimes the zone just run around and be talking to cheerleaders, talking to their coach. They're not playing any D at all. Doesn't really matter. And Dot W was out there, bro. Like I can't be mad at someone that understands what's going on and takes advantage of it and just knows what to cover because that's what the game is about. But. I was really surprised at how conservative Hollywood was playing early on in the game. Like, like I told you guys, I played him a couple weeks ago, and the game was close. I don't know; it's still probably on uh, one of my one of my past broadcasts on Twitch at G Myers World when I played uh, Hollywood, and um, I, I could have won the game. It was very, very close, down to like a minute left in the fourth quarter, and I threw a pick. He picked up a high pass in the red zone. But the one thing I could tell you, the way that he was running this tight, the drag routes are always readily available. But the way that uh, Dot W was playing it, it actually gave me a lot of different ideas because once you have something that can take away the drag route, you really just have to follow. Oh, yo, bro, get swerved. You really just have to follow that out, that that deep and out route. So now what's gonna happen is, you know, like how everybody in the Madden community pretty much runs whatever whatever they see everybody else running. That defense that Dot W was running is is specific to that play. Even though you can do it with other plays, they ha he has a very very wide blue zone on the outside that can help cover one side of the field. And it was very, very good with that. Um, getting the true boy a serious smoke. Listen, bro, Deion Sanders got what, Deion Sanders, oh, pick it up, run up a six two, pick it up. Yeah, hop over me, hop over, yeah, yeah. The other guy, lay on the ground, yeah, juke me up. Um, Deion Sanders proved to me yesterday that he has more jump than uh, Jimmy Graham. And he's also taller than Jimmy Graham with the high pass that was executed at the end of the game. And like I said, you guys have to understand you have to use what is available in the game to your advantage, especially on a stage like that. And it's not like True Boy didn't know that that was coming. He thought that the way that, because I saw what he did with the way that he played it, he didn't think that Deion Sanders would be able to get up that high with a high pass. Because realistically, you need tall players. You know what I'm saying? Like in previous Maddens, you could do that with the same high pass, but you needed taller players. Like Madden 15, if your player had height, it made a difference. In Madden 16 and 17, it doesn't matter how tall your player is. He'll just jump up and do whatever he wants. That's what it's about. And it was kind of something where True Boy is like, nah, that's not going to happen. And it happened. But, or, or, yo, listen, hats off to the serious mode. Dude came out, he knew what he needed to do, and he got it done in the red zone. And, and I love me some True Boy. But 
you have to always expect the unexpected when you're playing Madden. And you got to know when you're in that, the formation that he was in, he's going to one of the seam routes and he's going to high pass it. You have to make sure that both of them are covered. I don't care if the guy is three foot two because he will jump higher than Michael Jordan in his prime. That's just the way the game is. And then coming down to problem and um, books, that game right there, you know, it's, sim it's simple like this, bro. You know, problem, whenever he has to win and get in, the dude has an angel with him, bro, and he's gonna make sure he wins and he wins and get in. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you can't, um, you know, play the game and figure out a way to stop problem. It's not about that. It's just about the simple fact that this dude is gonna stay to his game plan. And if you go a go away from your game plan at least one inch, bro, you're going to lose. And a lot of people watch problem and like, oh, bro, he's washed, he's washed, whatever like that. The guy understands whichever Madden he's playing, he utilizes whatever is needed to be successful at that matter. That's why he's been successful over such a long time. So when you look, okay, yeah, my guy just, just walked through it. He tried to throw it to his tackle. My guy just walks through it. I, okay, but you have to understand that before you start calling him Wash, he knows all the money plays. He knows whatever, regardless of how he gets them and you know his team that he has right now with the problem movement. He knows what the plays are. He knows that quick base is pretty much unstoppable. He knows all this stuff. So he's gonna stay consistent with his game plan and that's what he did to Bugs. And Bugs has to understand, you gotta be able to pick up Nickel Blitz. You know that this guy is running Nickel Blitz the whole tournament. Why are you coming out and making Nickel Blitz be a problem? You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't understand why that was the situation with him. Uh, he almost made that from 47. Uh, okay, yeah, bro, that was like a, what the hell? Bro, that was like a 60-something y'all feel? Like? All right, whatever, bro. It is what it is, man. I'm gonna see you guys later. Somebody find it if this guy could get a refund on this ebook. Definitely follow me on Twitch. We go live, and I stream right here on YouTube, at G Myers World. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. One love.